Hi, welcome back to my channel and continuing on with the Sukume watch company. Today we'll be talking about the Sukume 1398. This watch uh, has a classic look where the second hand is separate from the hour and the minute hand, uh, reminiscent of some of the old time pocket watches. Uh, it is a quartz watch and um, uh, relatively inexpensive, probably could be retailed around $20 or so. On the back here, uh, it says Sikame 1398, 3AT and mortar resistant, and the battery code, as with all Sikame products, is uh, listed. And so, in the front here, let me focus in a little bit. You can see the red 12 and the second hand ticking away. And um, very simplistic, uh, but elegant little uh, watch design. And on the back, we're going to actually disassemble and reassemble this watch. The reason why is because I found with the other Sukume products, they were actually uh, pretty well constructed, but the hands on this one really flies when you go ahead and try to adjust it. Uh, it seems almost a little too loose, and sorry about the glare there. And with the plastic uh, spacer removed, uh, you can see the movement. Um, let's see if I get a clear shot there. It really doesn't say Japanese or anything, so I think it's probably a Chinese uh, movement. To release uh, the crown and stem, you just simply press down in this area here, this lever actually, and just pull and out it comes. So it's actually pretty uh, easy and the whole movement now can be just released. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because it seemed like the hands really had almost no resistance and perhaps was not set correctly at the factory. Um, unlike the other Sukume watches that I've gotten and perhaps a little defect. The way I like to remove the hands is I put it under some plastic so I don't scuff up the dial and use this tool which is gently pry the um, hour and a minute hand off and there you go. Both comes uh, out very easily. Okay now I'm going to try to set the hands a little bit better now and a little bit tighter so that uh, they don't move quite as freely. I mean, uh, w w when it's ticking away, uh, it, the hands actually are in place. It's just that when you try to set it, I mean, the hands itself really bounces all over the place. And apologize for the focus here. I'm going to try to focus a little better uh, for you. And using this uh, hand press tool, I uh, went ahead and set the uh, hour hand at 12 o'clock, as you can see and uh, follow that up with the minute hand and here we're going to go ahead and uh, put the minute hand also at 12 o'clock and again try to focus that a little bit better for you um, adjust it in place and then just uh, go ahead and push down and lock it in place and hopefully uh, that'll tighten the uh, minute hand and the hour hand a little bit better when you uh, try to adjust it so it's not so freely swinging. Okay, once the hands are set in place, you just want to make sure you clean the dial surface as well as the uh, crystal from the inside so that there's no dust or dirt or anything that could uh, sort of mar the appearance of the watch. Uh, place the uh, dial and the movement back in place. Uh, oop, there you go. Uh, get the crown and stem line it up back into where uh, the hole where it's supposed to go and then just a simple push and that uh, locks it back in place. Okay now we'll go ahead and uh, reinsert the plastic spacer back in to uh, help support and stabilize uh, the movement and the dial uh, and that thereby reassembling the watch. Uh, here again is the dial itself and as you can see it's uh, back in place and now all we have to do is uh, put the case back uh, on. Okay so just to make sure that you align everything correctly you can see the uh, ru rubber gasket there to help with the water resistance uh, and just kind of put this back on and using the case press uh, we'll go ahead and uh, press the uh, case back uh, back onto the watch and thereby sealing the watch. And there you go. All done. 
And one last look at the watch itself. Um, very nice dial. It's actually, you can't really tell very well from the picture, but there is kind of like a starburst pattern on all the dial. The dial itself is not very expensive, and neither is the leather strap. But again, uh, with Sikame, it's a uh, bargain brand, uh, and um, the prices reflect the materials. Uh, however, it actually looks pretty nice, and um, quite frankly, uh, it wears pretty nice as well. So um, here's just a look at the back and the leather. The leather itself isn't the greatest of quality. And here I am wearing it on my wrist. And it does seem to adjust. Uh, the hands are a little bit tighter. They're still on the loose side compared to the other Sikame watches. But um, it's okay. Um, it's functional and looks good and doesn't seem to want to fall off. So that's a review of the Sikame 1398. Thanks for watching again and have a good night.